Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ivan Rami from Bot and Cop Bot Support back again with another video. This video, we're going to cover my Ominous setup for Best Buy GPU and console drops. Ominous is a new bot that I just got my hands onto thanks to Redbeard and Slade, who are the owners of Bot and Cop. If you haven't joined Bot and Cop already, now, right now is the time. We're offering a free three day trial with the link below. Bot and Cop has monitors and alerts for every site such as Amazon, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, which will notify you the second high demand items will be in stock. We have all the guides and one on one bot support you need to succeed. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the setup. So the first important, important thing for Best Buy is having IMAP configured onto your bot. So to do that on Ominous, go ahead and go to this email section. You see I already have one connected, but I'm going to go through one fresh just to see how the flow is. I'll also drop down below uh, the actual documentation from Ominous just to follow if you, if you want to see that as well. So let's go ahead and bring this up. So I'm on this email right here. Let's go to see all settings. Go to forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Make sure you enable IMAP right here and then click save changes. So that's that. Um, now we can go up here, manage your Google account. And now we can go to um, security. Make sure two step verification is off because it can make uh, it can give you issues if you have it enabled. And then less secure app access turn this on that way your bot can connect so it's updated let's go back here give it a refresh okay it says on so now we can jump back into ominous let's add the format is just you uh the email and then password with the colon in between Add. Now it's going to click connecting. It might give it a second. There we go. So just like that, I got it connected with the IMAP. So that way, um, for Best Buy, it'll allow the bot to reset the password when necessary and avoid any like account issues or even codes that it'll, it'll need to uh, do a checkout. So this will save your you a lot of time and just make the whole process so much easier it's full aco which means auto checkout when you run the task so let's go ahead and go into the task itself um also you'll have to add some accounts um so i got mine right here so this is like you can have like account groups i just made one for youtube for now but these were these will be where my other accounts would be at i would recommend at least Last drop, I ran 10 accounts. I'm probably going to increase that uh, each drop, maybe in 20 drop, 20, 20 accounts next time. But I would say 10 is a good number to have. Um, you can make them with Gmails and stuff like that. As long as you're forwarding the email back to this IMAP email, it'll read those codes for you. So, like I said, I already made those accounts ahead of time. So I have that there. And then profiles, you can obviously use whatever profile you want. Um, with Ominous, it doesn't make you um, match. So let's go ahead and jump into the YouTube task that I have here. Click Add. And let me actually go ahead and get a SKU from our quick group. Uh, let's find a PS5 digital. Those sell pretty good. And here's the Best Buy one. So I got that SKU right there for digital um, with Best Buy. Every hype item is basically pickup that includes GPUs and consoles. So click pickup. Account group. Uh, since I only have one account in there, it's going to choose that one I just added. The Bot and Cob 101 Gmail one. Radius, this is up to you. Um, if you live in... Uh, populated dense area you might lower this or if you live in like cornfields like me you probably have it like at 50 or so 
So here's our profile group. It's a little bit different. You have to first select your profile group, and then it'll let you uh, pick which profile you like to choose. I'm going to go ahead and just click uh, the first one. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. It's selected all. So just click select all, then choose your profile. So with proxy group, I've actually, last drop, I ran Oxylab resis because my ISPs were not working correctly. So if you're having issues with ISPs, I would definitely try using resis. I'll link you down below the Oxylabs that I use. They work perfectly fine. Um, and I had no issue. I was I managed to check out GPU, two GPUs, and um, some consoles as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with the Oxylabs. Just make sure if you're running resis not to leave it on 24-7 because it does go off of data, which will run out if you leave it on for a long time. But like for last drop, I left it running for like an hour, almost an hour and a half. Um, the reason is because Best Buy will keep dropping throughout the hour. They'll drop a little stock. Some will be from cancels and such, and they'll just drop that down, drop that um, again for you to check out. And also, I would leave this as is. Um, bypass 3DS. This is basically when you have card issues. Um, it'll bypass that for you. And just click add. And there's our task. So for each account, I would make one task per SKU on each account. So you can run a bunch of uh, GPUs if you wanted to. But for um, I wouldn't go over that just because it's already going to put you in the line for that um, for that item and it will check out and it works really efficiently like compared to other bots I would say Ominous is one of the ones that are actually on top so I'm going to go ahead and click obviously uh, it's not even going to be uh, in stock right now but just to show you what it's going to say so it's saying setting up looking at that account Logging in and then checking for total tech out of stock. There you go. So just like that, um, you, you'll make your, your tasks just like that for each account. Like I said, you can run multiple SKUs, but just keep it to one task on each account for each SKU. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. If either if it's ominous or something, another bot that you're into. I'll definitely take a look at that and make a video. Thanks for watching.